park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned $5. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, <coughs> the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I've always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Inside here? Now that I got the flashlight, I can go in here, I guess. Right after I turn off the fucking subtitles. Ah. <sighs> Oh, look at this. Now we actually get some flashlight a action. It's kind of late in the game, though. It's not like anything can actually scare you at this point. Yeah, okay. Well, hello, chipmunk. a wolf it was at one point <sighs> red room okay if this is the house of horrors is that the guy from fallout new vegas it looks like the guy from the cover of fallout new vegas fuck out of here Oh my god, that's fucking creepy. <laughs> Any more cardboard cutouts I should be worried about? Oh my god, that's beastly. Fall over too, fat man. What is that? Nothing. Okay. Oh boy. You know, I actually think that I kind of owe you guys a better maybe a third game which means I'll probably extend my Halloween specials into November just because this game has been a really big letdown in my opinion so I can't even imagine what you guys are thinking but yeah I apologize for this I, I thought this was gonna be like a good game but uh, you know fucking indie developers man Can't trust a goddamn thing indie developers do. I don't know.
like the game tries to creep you out with like weird noises and fucking flashes of some fucking guy in a chipmunk costume. But basically all you're doing is walking and being told a story of how fucking crazy this woman is. I wanna go this way. Ooh, red lights, scary. Yep. Okay. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, so it basically seems like Tim Burton was the, the director behind this fucking game. Hell, that must be why it's not scary. Of course, I couldn't even see what that guy actually looked like. He was just long and gangly. Nightmare Circus. Okay. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, it was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. These look like Scientology books. I'm in the books. woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Wait, is that Clementine's hat? I think that's Clementine's hat. What the hell's going on here? Rubik's Cube. Can I try to solve it? This would be a more interesting game than the fucking game I'm playing right now. Examine the drawing. I love you from Callum. Right. It's supposed to be like Callum's bedroom. Read shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum. Electricity bill. K's? Isn't plot relevant? Examine wrench. It's a wrench. Okay. Okay. Get some chicken. <laughs> I 
I guess it's one of those games where you actually have to read all the collectibles that you're you're getting in order to get like an actual feel of the story. It's just it's fucking annoying. Anything creepy gonna show up on the screen? Jump scare, come on now. Do it. Fucking bullshit. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't open. This guy trying to make nursery rhyme scary. Nightmare Circus. I've read, I've seen that book before. We have ent entered the world of PT. Okay. Something's triggering her. The radio? It's the same fucking shit. Examine wine. Chicken's all bad now. If we make another pass through the hallway of bullshittery. I didn't run away, Dad took me. So this long gangly creature is Caleb's dad? Fuck's sakes. Jesus Christ, this isn't scary. 